Hello, everybody, and welcome. So today, I've got something uh, a little different. I should probably turn on my headlight, or my LED light. But anyways, today we are looking at a network appliance, but I'm repurposing it. So let's check it out. All right, so here we have the Trinsic uh, 1400 that is made by Infoblox. So I've never heard of this company until I got this from the getting spot, and it's pretty interesting. So this is a network appliance. Uh, it has... So originally, it would have a web UI that you would access, and you could do some controlling through this little touchpad or the button pad, whatever. It's a squishy thing and a little tiny LED screen. And over here, we have a PCI cover. We have a UID button, and in this little tiny hole, we have the power button. It's uh, recessed, so you can't turn it off or on easily. Uh, we have the IPMI slot, a single USB, console serial port. We have a management LAN, a LAN 1, aha, and a LAN 2. So I'm not sure really why there's a management LAN when we have IPMI. But again, I have no idea anything about this system. I just got it from the getting spot. So... What's inside? Well, that is actually pretty interesting. Also, big logo. Oh, let's turn it around really fast. So on the back, we have two hard drive bays. This is a super micro SAS 2.5 inch uh, accessory bay thing that they sell. Um, as you can see, I have them plated up. This one, of course, isn't the original plate, but that's what I had on hand that works. No uh, I.O. back here. We have a single uh, server power supply Whoops, with a blank over here, just a little space holder. Woo! Um, non, uh, so brand new... Uh, power supplies go for like $200 just for a single one. So, fuck that. I'll probably buy one for tw like 20 bucks. that's used. Good enough for me. Anyways, so let's uh, look inside. Okay. So inside, it's pretty interesting. Basically, this is a custom super micro board. Super micro... X8SIUF-11 or II008. All right. Um, so this super micro board is normally only has two LAN ports and the VGA is exposed. So as you can see, VGA is internal. And, yeah, so here is our uh, super micro bay. We have three noisy-ass high-power fans made by San Ace, San Ace, uh, Sanyo. Oh, it's a Sanyo fan. So we have three Sanyo fans, a off-the-shelf uh, 3Y power technology uh, power supply, and yeah, so basically this is a custom case that uses three off-the-shelf products, kind of. So this motherboard has to be special order because I can't find it anywhere on Supermicro's website with these two extra LAN, which is cool. Still kind of sucks, but it's cool. Uh, get to why in a minute. Under the little flappy doo, we have our heatsink. This is an 1156 socket. 
So Gen 1 i7 series, kind of. Uh, this has an X3400 series uh, Xeon in it. I will be putting an L5406 in it, I do believe. Um, it can work with it. I uh, looked it up on Super Supermicro's website. This board can work with it. It's just it can't use ECC registered RAM. It can only use ECC unregistered, which is fine, but still kind of poop. Uh, so there's our three fans. Uh, these fans are motherboard controlled, which is really nice. Starts up, it sounds like a jet engine, but after the BIOS kicks in, they kick down, which, again, is nice on the ears. We have three that cool this area, and then we have a redundant pair that cool the PCIe area and the hard drives. And we have little dividing flaps that force the air through here, uh, past the hard drives, and out. Uh, up here is three PCI slots. They're all vertical. There is a riser card that you can get that will allow you to have a single PCI slot in here. Um, possibly two. I'm not really sure on the bottom one, but I know I've seen one that fits in all three of these and uses the top. Um, what else? VGA internal, I know I've said it, but that's weird. And an internal USB, which is pretty awesome. So, I am running PFSense on this. And I know it's overkill. But I have nothing else to use it for right now, so it's going to be my PFSense box. Uh, yeah. So, the weirdness. Let me turn off that light. Whew! So, the weirdness. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but it says uh, for uh, info blocks use only next to the VGA port. Um, so I'm guessing that they locked this thing down. The only way you would be able to control anything on it would be through the... Uh, web UI. Now, that sucked for me because I wasn't going to use it for that <laughs> and I don't have access to the software because it didn't come with a hard drive. So, I proceeded to unlock the BIOS which they had locked from factory I would guess since it's uh, VGA is locked, essentially, you know, for their use only. But no. Um, Hirons took care of that for me, which is awesome. Uh, so, yeah. It's definitely fast. It's way more than what I need for uh, a PF Sense box. That's why I'm downgrading the uh, X34 whatever that's in it down to a L whatever 06 because it is two core four thread and it's like 20 watts it's super low power which should be great for this little server uh, I'm definitely excited to get it in my rack so stay tuned for uh, rack update number two when uh, I do it <laughs> anyways uh thanks for watching if you like the video hit that like button and as always you'll see me in the next video bye